So the first technique I'm going to show you is how to apply acrylic at tube consistency. It seems quite straightforward, but it's something I think everybody needs to know about. So the first thing I do is moisten my brush. You can see all the little air bubbles, getting rid of those from between the bristles that avoids any kind of scuffing. Now I'm going to blot my brush because I don't want it absolutely saturated as this isn't a watercolour. A nicely moistened brush really helps with the application of the paint. So the first colour I'm going to be using is cadmium red. All I do is cover my brush and there we are. Nice and easy. Because I moistened my brush before I started, I've got a nice smooth finish. Not too many brush strokes in that. I'm also using a synthetic brush, which really, really helps. I've got less brush strokes. It gives me a fantastic amount of time working with the paint as it doesn't dry quickly on the bristles. That's how you would start off applying acrylic paint. So for the next technique, this time I want to show you how to increase the flow of the paint. So I'm going to use my cadmium red again, but I'm going to add in my flow improver. Now, Flow Improve is great. It really, really, really helps give an even dispersion of the paint and stops it from scuffing. So only a small amount. You don't want to dilute the paint at all. And then mix that through and apply it. This is great if you want to cover the whole of the canvas with one colour and get a nice, even, flat dispersion of the colour. This really, really helps a lot of people when they are starting out with acrylics to use the Flow Improver. Stops that horrible drag when you're trying to do any fine lines or marks. So it stops the scuffing of the paint that tends to look childlike. Now I'm going to show you how to blend two colours into each other using slow drying medium. I think this is really important because a lot of people when they first start using acrylics get really worried that the paint dries too quickly. So if this is something you want to do, there's a medium, slow drying medium that will really, really help you. Okay, so I'm going to use two different colours. I'm going to use cerulean blue and a little bit of the cadmium red again. I'm going to take my slow drying medium and add a tiny little squirt of slow drying medium into each of those colours. For mixing the medium into the colours, I'm going to use a separate brush just to make sure I don't start mixing those colours together before they're on the paper. So I'm keeping them clean, thinking about good housekeeping and the clarity of colour. Now, using two separate brushes to apply the paint, I'm going to apply each colour next to each other. That slow drying medium will really increase the drying time enable you, you to use the paint and pull the paint around for a little bit longer. Now normally if you didn't have the slow drying medium in there they would dry very very quickly but now you can take a brush that's not got any paint on it at all and using that now to blend the two wet colours into each other. You're able to do this because you've got the slow drying medium in the paint and it increases that drying time. So it's a little bit more like using oil paint, but will dry a lot quicker than that would do normally. So best of both worlds.